My name is Brian Smith and I'm a PhD candidate in the Computer Vision Lab here at Columbia. And I'm the creator and the developer of the racing auditory display, the RAD. And what it is, is a way of uh, making it possible for people who are blind to play racing games and have the same sort of experience playing those games as sighted players can. To be able to do things like cut corners, anticipate upcoming turns, remember the track layout, and all of the things that sighted players are used to doing in racing games. It was interesting to try the RAD because of the, the new experience that it g gave to me as a visually impaired person um, in relation to playing uh, racing games. The RAD is a user interface uh, that can be added to any racing game. It's just a means of, um, given a racing game, uh, a developer can plug in the RAD, uh, and then that will output sound to a player's headphones to give them information about the racetrack. And so just to prove that he is not using the screen or the visual information, the graphics at all, I'm going to turn the screen away from him. So he's not looking at the screen at all. Um, and yet he's still able to play the game and even kind of cut this corner. This is turn 17, it's a really long turn. This feeling of, I guess you can say the feeling of adventure that it gave, the sense of control that it gave me as a player um, was totally different than what you would usually get from uh, other audio racing games that were specifically designed for uh, the visually impaired community. So right now if you look at the types of video games that are available to people who are blind, it's a pretty, it's a pretty sparse field. They're very simplified versions of what sighted people would play. Uh, they either cut out a lot of the game mechanics and higher level strategies that you might expect. So in racing games, for example, there are no concepts of cutting corners. Um, or they overload the player with too much information. And so here our goal was to give people who are blind an authentic experience so that they could play racing games the same way that sighted players would experience racing games. With um, all of the information that they would normally have to uh, decide how to race themselves without overloading them with information. I am listening to the different information that I get, which is the sounds of um, when I'm approaching a turn. We've actually found that the RAD helps people who are blind uh, race as well as casual sighted players can. We compared lap times uh, from sighted people and uh, b uh, blind participants, and they were comparable. Now, if you have a really good sighted player, they can do better um, because they can hug corners just even more precisely than what the RAD would allow you to do. Um, but the fact that like a regular 3D racing game can be playable by someone who's blind at a level that's comparable to sighted players is a, is a completely new thing.